lately I've been using my leisure time on spend on making computer operated uh, things like I wanted to make a car basically that you can control using your smartphone. So that was extremely difficult if you think about it. But then I found out about this thing called Arduino Uno. You can control motors and LEDs and you can also reach a point where you can um, you know, control your tube lights, fans, using your laptop, just if they're connected. So I used this. This was not enough, I realized later on, because you need something called a shield. A shield is basically something that allows this to um, be capable of doing more things, because this was not capable of running motors, and that's what I needed for my project. My project was basically to make a remote control car, like I just told. So I needed at least two motors for that. So this shield is from DK Electronics. This fits on the Arduino Uno. So these, uh, you see these black lines? Yeah. Yeah. These are ports and these are pins, these pins. They fit on them. So then they have uh, ports out here. It goes from 0 to 13. That's where the output goes. And uh, like most of you have learned about electronics, right? Yeah. And about electricity. So once there's an input of current, there should, there should be a circulation or it should go to the ground. So there is one pin here that's two pins that says ground. So then if you take an LED, put it on pin 13 and you connect it to the ground, if you, if you run it on the computer and make it go through pin 13 come from the ground, you will see the light glowing. So that's the beginning stage. So once you put this, this fits exactly on these pins. This shield, the pins fit in the ports. So it's just like this. So this box here, it's, it connects to the computer using a wire. So then if, if I have a wire, I can't make it remote control like wireless key, no. So then what I uh, have to use now again is a internet Bluetooth or something. So then you can do it on your smartphone. So I realized that that's going to cost a lot of money. So, so I have to cut down on the other things. So then I'm going to make the remote control car totally out of metal scraps, plastic scraps, wood scraps, and make the car. So yeah, that's how I'm going to make the car. This is really difficult because I need to know about electronics for making the motors and the circuits. I have to know about software, to design the software. That's taking a lot of my time because like just making one LED work took me 10 minutes figuring out what, what to use and luckily they have a website that has almost all the information about these and uh, there are many YouTube videos that shows, shows how to make these and uh, my mentors Anut sir and Varsha ma'am are helping me to do this and it's working out quite well and um, I'm learning about new things like brushless motors and all that that people are using to make their uh, remote control cars go faster. I've also learned new things like uh, shields. I never knew anything about a shield and Arduino board just one month back. <laughs> but, <coughs> but then I also realized that learning about software will take more months. <coughs> and, uh, I chose this project thinking that it will last for long and because this project was supposed to be extended for three months. So I wanted something I can work on constantly. So yeah, but I'm also making sure that this doesn't come between into my studies because I have my boards coming up. So this was the I don't know and the shield. Different uh, parts. One is the physics part of it because uh, building the car is, involves a lot because you must know exactly where the uh, motor will be mounted exactly where, if I want suspension, where should I put the suspension and how to put the gears to use it or the belt of, from one gear to the shaft. I should know when which motor will turn and where to keep it for the front two wheels to turn for the car. And I must also know how to cover the car on top so it doesn't get damaged. And um, I must also learn how to make it in one piece so it doesn't just keep falling apart if it turns or hits something. So as you know, it has taken uh, almost two months now for the first step. Yeah. So how long you are thinking will take so as per your Making the car, I'm, uh, I have Lego at home, Lego bricks. 
So then I've been designing it on Lego bricks because that's easy to assemble, take out and um, like experiment on. So once I finished experimenting on the Lego, which I've been doing for a long time now, I made cards from Lego, but then they're not being remote controlled. They just run and turn. I brought them to school to show people some. Uh, some people have seen it, the others wouldn't have because there was some time back. So I made those and they, they seem to work. But then that's only with Lego. So now I'm going to be making out of wood or pieces of metal. Yeah. So time approximately two, three months. So